Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Hope everyone is doing well here today. What we're going to be going over in today's video is going to be the Season 8 patch notes for Call of Duty Mobile. If you guys are excited, be sure to go and give the video a like. If you are new, be sure to go and sub. We're only going to be going over the Battle Royale section of these patch notes, not the multiplayer. Don't really play multiplayer that often here, but uh, super excited. I also do want to mention this before we get right into everything. There is going to be daily videos coming back up here on this channel so don't you worry for all the people that were kind of like parker where are the videos at here i got you guys and it's going to be all on this new blackout map which kind of starts off the whole patch notes here blackout is coming the original classic br map from black ops 4 is coming to cod mobile so we have some class adjustments here or updates poltergeist toned down the on-screen warning visuals when a poltergeist is nearby active camel warning distance increased from 35 meters to 40 meters after upgrading poltergeist and then reduce the active camo activation time from two seconds to one second. That's actually a really significant update here to uh, to poltergeist. Like it seems like this is definitely going to be a lot better from uh, before here. Like. Uh, especially with toning down the on-screen warning visuals so that's like if you're an enemy player going up against this poltergeist it's going to be a lot harder to go and like visually speaking uh know where this guy might actually be or when the poltergeist is actually activated so that's some interesting stuff going on with there trickster removed the holographic effects from trickster and trickster decoy so that means that you're just going to be seeing like a normal, regular person rather than like the highlighted blue. I also really like that idea there too. Oh, dang. Okay. So you're going to be able to go and bamboozle people a lot more. Like beforehand, when you just saw like the completely blue character, you would just kind of assume, all right, one of these guys is going to go and be the fake guy. But I actually really like that. Okay. Trap master. Oh no. What is this? added minor electrical effect to an active electrical trap wire oh my god trap master this was what we have been waiting for for such a long period of time so trap master getting a nerf and i'm assuming you're gonna actually be able to go and see the line properly now uh for trap master which is perfect thank you cod mobile this is what we needed like eight months ago but it is what it is okay spotter greatly increased the distance of winged enemies shown by fly swatter good increased the cluster strike area radius from 14 to 18 oh my god dude okay already this season they went and buffed up spotter in a meaty way by going and making the activation that much more quicker here but now they're going in, uh, increasing the, the damage area radius from 14 to 18. That's actually significant here, too. Oh, my God. Um, okay. I'm just going to go and say this. I think Spotter is very... Uh, would I even dare say overpowered? Spotter is very, very, very good now. Okay. Medic. Medic is now available. Or, uh, excuse me. Medic is now able to boost armor up to 200 for players with 150 armor or higher. So, yeah, for you guys that don't know, they even go and mention it down here. Health system update. Whole health systems getting changed. So medic going up to 200, like that's medic's gonna be nice here as well, bro. Okay, master healer. Oh, this is also going on with medic, I'm assuming. Healing bonus and reduced time required to bring back knockdown. Wait, hold up. What is this? I, I'm assuming that's just like the passive ability, right? Um, Healing bonus and reduced time required to bring back knockdown allies increase from 15 to 35 percent, 25 percent to 40 percent. So that's are, are you you're able to go in and heal your downed enemies or your downed allies a lot faster now. Interesting. Okay. Gameplay updates. When the player is close to the enemy in the wingsuit state, the enemy can receive a direction warning. Good. I like that, which is also interesting because that's like the passive ability with Spotter. Interesting. Okay, 
Big W, uh, players now receive a directional warning when an enemy using the wingsuit is nearby. I thought that just went and said that. Wingsuit, uh, minimum descent speed has been adjusted. Interesting. So I'm assuming maybe players will go down a lot faster now rather than always being able to go in, in the sky or like stay in the sky for a long period of time. Increased smoke grenade smoke screen duration from 12 seconds to 16 points. 5. Dang, I know in like a competitive setting, there's a lot of smoke grenades that can be used. So I wonder what that's going to go and mean from that perspective. Uh, the whole health system update here for you guys that don't know, pretty significant. The health system has been reworked and now features armor to provide additional HP. HP now regenerates over time. Equipped armor provides additional HP. Unlike health, armor does not regenerate. Added the following armor items. Armor repair increases armor by 50. Advanced armor repair increases armor by 150. And then kinetic armor overcharger increases armor by 150, then provides an additional 50 armor. So it's like, this is the main thing that you want. This is like the equivalent to like a level three vest. Interesting. Okay. Weapon updates. Color-coded quality has been removed from weapons. Weapons now have three mod slots, updated existing weapon mods, and added new mods, increased the weapon drop rate, which is really solid here as well. Like, dude, if, if the floating platform was still, still around here, that would mean a, a pretty significant change there, but it is what it is. Okay, airdrop update. Arsenal airdrops have been added in addition to ordinary airdrops. Two arsenal uh, airdrops are guaranteed to provide a customized weapons. So there's going to be two of them overall on the full map uh, throughout like one game. Um, and then improved the output of ordinary airdrops. Does that mean like they... There's now more, maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, backpack updates. The base backpack capacity has been changed to four slots, which can be upgraded to six slots and eight. Uh, the stack limit of the three new armor repairs are six to one. And then max ammo carrying capacity has been reduced. Does not affect the backpack slot. So you won't be able to go and carry as much ammo. So it's probably not that 999, I'm assuming. Uh, interesting. Okay, vehicle updates. The overall terrain of Blackout is relatively smooth. To improve the overall balance of vehicles on this map, we've reduced the maximum speed of motorcycles, off-road vehicles, and coupes. Durability of some vehicles have also been reduced. Interesting. Dang, okay. Like, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that here, really. Um, like, for me, playing Battle Royale has always just been, like, an aggressive type of play style for me. I like to get involved. And with them going and reducing and limiting a lot of stuff like that, I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, vehicle mobility update. Helicopter. The minimap displays the locations of helicopter in real time. Nice. Allowing the players to... Uh, allowing the players to more quickly determine helicopter positions. We hope this change will control the number of active helicopters. Interesting. Um, big fan of this. Big fan of this. I love this. Wingsuit, we've reduced the horizontal speed and buoyancy of the wingsuit to achieve a more realistic feel while gliding. Okay. Uh, oh, the hor- Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Slide updates. Optimize the camera. Oh, no. Optimize the camera while sliding. What does this mean? Oh, dude, please don't do another, like, aim shifting type of situation here. Please, no. Slide distance will now change according to slope and moving speed. I like that as well. Wow. Okay. So, it seems like movement-wise, things are going to be a lot more grounded, which I'm a big fan of. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Other improvements. A new quick swap menu can be um, accessed by long pressing the consumable throwable buttons on the HUD. Okay. Improved the experience of picking up and discarding items. Perfect. Love that. So I'm hoping that you're able to go and do that a lot faster here. That was a huge issue all throughout the past couple of seasons here. It's just been looting for me. Like they're almost feeling like there's a delay. So I love hearing that. Thank you, COD Mobile. Optimize the HUD when driving vehicles. Perfect. Remove the button to switch between auto and single firing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I love hearing that as well. Thank you. To improve the drop and experience, parachutes no longer need to be opened manually. To improve the drop and experience, par parachutes no longer need to be opened manually. So it just automatically does that. Okay, interesting. New base weapons, M13, and then the R90 are going to be coming into the game here. Nice. Ranked multiplayer in Battle Royale. Grandmaster tier has been added. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. What else do we have here? There's multiplayer stuff going on. Battle Royale. Uh, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Um, Rytec AMR headshot multiplier increased from 2 to 3.7? And then, kind of same with the Thermite mag going on. Base mag capacity increased from 15 to 25. Mag capacity increased. ADS time decreased. Slightly in, uh, increased movement speed. Slightly decreased weapon swap. Wow, dude, that's like, uh, that's pretty huge in terms of the Rytec here. Rytec's gonna be actually really really good especially with that headshot multiplier what can this potentially like one shot kill people here with that i don't know okay uh dlq headshot multiplier increased from 108 to 2.3 what dude snipers are getting a little bit of a glow up going on here okay locust headshot multiplier from 1.5 to 2.2 crazy uh, MK2, headshot multiplier increased from 2 to 2.6. SPR, headshot multiplier decreased from 5 to 4.3. So, this is something that I actually learned recently. That the SPR was a guaranteed headshot with this uh, mag size on it. If you uh, went in headshot someone, it was a guaranteed one shot, one kill. So, that's awesome that they're going in, uh, nerfing that down here a little bit. But, dude, it sounds like these weapons now have the potential to go and do that. I don't know. Okay, um, developer comment. To bridge the gap between the power level of sniper rifles and BR, we've adjusted the headshot multipliers for various weapons and attachments. Interesting. Okay, HG40. Wow, that is a weapon that I have not heard of in a hot second. Increased damage to arms from 26 to 28. Increased damage to legs from 23 to 24. I don't know if that's going to be that significant, but increased damage to arms and legs to improve overall consistency. After the adjustment, as long as the player hits the upper body with one shot, the target can be eliminated with four shots? interesting okay pdw increased damage to head from 29 to 32 very solid increased damage to chest from 27 to 29 dude are we going to be getting the the pdw meta back into the game here okay developer comment increase the damage to head and chest to bring pdw 57 up to speed with the current meta dude pdw is a really solid gun here so i wonder what that's gonna go and do to it here right okay other adjustments, increased movement speed when using the thermite or cocktail, Molotov cocktail, okay. Decrease the sprinting speed bonus of, wait, hold up, is this for MP? Yeah, okay, that's all for uh, MP here. Interesting, okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it here for me. I would love to know in the comment section down below what you guys think about everything here. At least in terms if there's one thing that I want to go and say. Uh, well, two things. It sounds like snipers are going to be really solid here coming next season. Uh, and then number two, it sounds like the cluster strike is going to be very, very, very solid. <laughs> um, but, uh, and yeah, I guess just on an overall note here. I'm genuinely now more excited about this season. Like, for the past couple updates, it seems like whenever COD Mobile went and released something, it was a dud just due to the fact that the game wasn't feeling good from, like, a mechanics perspective. But going and hearing positive things, such as the looting uh, being a lot more improved here, other just, like, random features and just uh, things that I can't really remember off the top of my head here that they wanted mentioned. Everything sounds like it's heading in the right direction here. As well as alongside that, we're getting a brand new Battle Royale map here. So, very, very, very positive reception here from me. I would love to know what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. My name is Parker. Hopefully, y'all will have an awesome rest of your day here today. I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.